Welcome back nail queens. Today's video is another press on nail video, but today I'm going to show you how I make my press ons last longer using sticky tabs and nail glue at the same time. So I'm going to put on these two sets right here because we're going out tonight and I want to have somewhat of a matching mani. So the first thing I do, like always, is I clean my nails with rubbing alcohol. I'm trying to get off all of the oils. Sticky tabs do not like oil or lotion, so this step is crucial to de hydrate my nails as much as possible. Then I'm going to push back all of my cuticles. This gives me as much nail real estate as possible and also helps the sticky tabs not stick to my skin, but actually stick to the surface of my nails. I want to give a huge shout out to Claire from dark underscore Claude over on Instagram for all of her tips and tricks about these press-ons. I am doing the method that she told me about, so I want to give her all the credit for it because I didn't think of this myself. Right now I'm applying nail dehydrator to all of my nails. I'm just It's just an extra step. It's like rubbing alcohol. It's just getting all the oils gone. Now, just like I always do with all of my press-on nails, I use sticky tabs. So I start with the largest and I work my way to the smallest. So I'm doing my thumb nail here. This is just like my other press-on nail video, except for there will be an extra step here, including nail glue. So I'm just using the other end of my tweezers to push everything flat. I find this very crucial when I'm applying the sticky tabs is making sure that I press them really, really flat to the nails so that they actually stick because if you don't, you can have a harder time lifting the tab off to expose the sticky part of the sticky tabs. So I'm going to be doing all 10 fingers here today. And once I'm done applying the sticky tabs, I need to pull out my nail glue. So I'm going to be using base bond. It's like dip powder base bond. You can use any kind of nail glue, but I like this brush on because I can really get in the nooks and crannies. And then I'm going to brush it on the sidewalls where the sticky tabs do not touch. So you're going to see here on the left and right side. And if my free edge is exposed, so there's a little free edge there, I'm going to brush it on right there too. And then I'm going to take my press on nail and I'm going to press it on the way I usually do with all my sticky tabs, starting at the cuticle area, pushing it towards my cuticle and then pressing it down flat. This has allowed me to get an extremely long wear in comparison to just the sticky tabs. So I wore my tips for like four days. That's the max I wore them. And I actually did the whole removal process. None of them came loose. None of them came wobbly. I just wanted to change them out and wear a different set. So that's the only reason I took them off. I'm betting they would have lasted over a week with this method. So I'm repeating this process on each and every nail. And I have to say thank you, Claire from Dark Claude over on Instagram for all your tips and tricks on how to make these last longer. I personally have tried the glue only method and I didn't like it because it got a little bit messy and it made that the tips were not reusable because they had all of the glue underneath. However, with this method, I am able to reuse the tips because the glue doesn't get everywhere. All right, so here you can see how secure they are. I am wiggling and tugging at the press-on. Obviously, I'm not like using full strength, but it's not even budging or lifting up, which is incredible and it makes me really excited if I wanna wear press-ons for longer wear and not just to take photos for a brand. So I'm gonna speed through and do my right hand and I'll let you guys listen to some music and I'll be back. And that is it for these manis. These are two sets of press-ons applied using this like sticky tab and glue method. If you guys plan on using this method or trying it out, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your experiences. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.